Anthony was a good child growing up. He was extremely shy and never gave me any problems. When Anthony was five or six years old, the little girls flocked to him like white on rice, and Anthony loved it. I knew it was going to be a problem. Although Anthony was only five or six, he attracted girls almost twice his age. He always had a love for basketball and was quite good at it. He was a star in the summer leagues on South Pearl and went on to play for his high school in his senior year. He accepted a scholarship to play in college, but I don't think his heart was really in it. But when that rap mess came along, it was over. Anthony dove in head first. When Ant came into his own, he developed a gift for Gab. I would always say when Ant was young, he learned to drive women crazy with his tongue. Ant went on to lead a successful career in rap. He became a local celebrity, even performing at the world famous Apollo Theater three times, which only heightened his accessibility to them women. Couldn't nobody spit it like Ant. I feel bad that Ant made the choice to take the wrong road instead of the right road. Because if he took the right road, he wouldn't have gone through all the things that he went through. Oh my God, my man Ant is off the hook. Crazy, ain't it? Yeah, man. You gotta read it. You gotta read it. Yeah, yo, yo, that book was crazy, man. Yo, why? You liked it? Yeah, it's alright. My name is Brian. I'm the manager for the posse. These brothers here had it together, especially Anthony. It was something about Anthony when I first seen him. He always had that gift. He could put his lyrics together. He knew how to place himself when he was delivering lines. Everything you wanted in an artist. One thing, the women. He just decided to be a womanizer instead of just settling down with one woman. A story from boy to men. Excuse me, sir. Um, did you read Disillusion? What the fuck is that? Man, it's only the hottest book out right now. Motherfucker, do I look like an afford book? And when you see Ant, I will look him upside down the other and give him all it is. The book is a page turner. The book was outstanding. You gotta go get it. I absolutely loved it. It's fantastic. Terrific. Oh my God, it was unbelievable. Stunning. This illusion is wow. It was fucking fabulous. You have to read this book. It's, 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 it's awesome. I think his perception of white women was wrong. Yo, this illusion, you gotta get this book. It's a must read, a page turner. Your boy Ant is off the chain. A dog. Ant. A dog? Yeah. Oh, is it a dog? No, so, Ant, he do what men do. So you been writing a book about uh, C.O. Caldwell? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he, hey, he was one of the best C.O.'s ever, man. I mean, he did his job, but. He was fair, you know what I'm saying? That's all you can ask for being in a place like this. I can honestly say he was one of the, he was the best one of the best people in here. And he was more than money, Zal. <laughs> Aunt kept women all the time. Different ones. Sheila, Debbie, Cindy, Frida. It didn't matter. As long as they had an A at the end of their name, he was cool. That was Aunt, you know. Anthony did his thing, but I bet you I still give him a run for his money. Personally, I know him. We go way back. He's a good guy. I gave him a chance. And he screwed up. Life goes on. Lesson learned. Yo, tell Ant, man, Drew said they'll be putting my business in the street and shit like that shit, man. You know, I got warrants and shit, for real, bro. He just went through some stuff and he ended up being all right. Yeah. He gonna make it, you know, I think might have a good heart up under there. <laughs> yo, this illusion of shit ain't no motherfucking joke, son. Yo, my man, eh? Yo, that nigga don't give a fuck, son. That's what mother. No, I did love him. Uh, Anthony, Anthony, he's a dog. However, his thing need to fall off. No, what you? Yeah. Why you taking this off? It's a Ladies. book. Why are you taking it personal like we know him or something? No. Man. Anthony is a dog. Check the book for yourself. Man, she's taking the personal. It's a page turner. Read this book. Why are you taking the personal Anthony like you know him or something? You know him mm -hmm. or something? You think? Why are you trying to get me emotional on here? Anthony, my mom don't got no boyfriend. Okay, it's disillusion. Make no mistake about what it is. It's about reality. Life's travel. It's about no compromise. It's about learning from life experiences. 
it's gaining what is to be gotten from where you get to. Okay? It's about fucking who's to be fucked so that you don't get fucked. It's about life. You have to read it. Turn page, real thing, yard man thing, American thing, African thing. Everybody just needs to get the thing, read the book, and understand that life is not that much different. There's so much similarity in, in, in living. Terrific book to read. I recommend that you go and get this book.